Hello, great evening to you all. It is day number four. Day number four, it is Thursday, May 4th. Um, we're gonna be talking about getting your video marketing questions answered. All right, that is the most important thing when it comes to this niche because a lot of people feel that video marketing is hard, it's difficult, and it's not. All right, and it's not. So I wanna introduce myself. My name is Simone Redman. I am a video marketer, and I also teach home business entrepreneurs how to grow their business with video, as well as giving you some social media and branding tactics to get the leads, the sales, and the customers that you've always wanted. Hello, everyone. Great evening. If you are joining in on the live, just let me know where you are watching from. I would love to know where my audience is watching from throughout the entire world. So very important. Um, and for those of you all who are watching this replay on YouTube, I do apologize for not up, um, uploading a video yesterday. Facebook shut down my video. And um, so we're going to try this again. <laughs> so we're going to try this again. So I'll have to do video topic number three or day number three on another day. Um, but we're going to be talking about getting your video marketing questions answered tonight. All right, tonight. I'm so excited. So before we get started, I want to... Um, See if I can share this out in my groups and then we'll go ahead and get started, right? So I hope you all are having a great, great evening as always, as always. Let's see here. Don't want to take up too much of your time today. All right. So the thing with online video, online video is one of the best ways to actually engage your audience, okay? Hey, Denisha, how are you? Great evening. Um, you know, there are so many unanswered questions about this niche. So many people are, they, they want to know the basics before they actually get started. And that's something that you cannot do. Um, so I have a list of about eight questions for you that I have received. And... Um, I do apologize for the background noise. I can't mute it while I'm doing a live video on here. It's okay. Um, so the first one is, do I really need videos? And getting situated. Do I really need videos? And my answer to you is yes. You, 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 you definitely need videos. And the reason why you need to create videos is that you want people to see who you are. You want people to see who you are. Hello there, whoever is watching. Um, just let me know where you are watching from. And I'm um, glad to have you on the live video today. So yes, you do need videos because videos have the ability to rank in search engines, especially on Google and YouTube. This gets more visibility to who you are as a person, as an entrepreneur, as a business speaker. I mean, wherever it could be, correct? So there are over 8 billion videos watched every single month in between Facebook and YouTube put together, okay? 8 billion videos. So there is no, there, there, it, there shouldn't be a reason as to why you're not creating videos. There really shouldn't. You should be creating videos to get more exposure to you, get people to see who you are, especially utilizing search engine optimization. It is going to work the best way possible. Um, and let me go ahead before I get into, hey, how are you? I've only been to Philadelphia one time, okay? One time. I haven't been there. I haven't been back yet, but it's it's on the way. <laughs> it's definitely on the way, and I'm sharing this on my fan page. Okay, so number two, does my ideal client really want to see videos? And the answer is yes. Your idea or your ideal client definitely wants to see videos, and why? Because videos can be informative and engaging as long as you make them informative and engaging. Okay, you don't want to get on a video and just create a video for no reason. There has to be a purpose with your videos in order for your audience to feel like, man, I can get so much great information from this one person, okay? So yes, your ideal client does want to see videos, all right? And um, people share videos that interest them, okay? People share videos that interest them. If it's something that they just know that other people have an issue for and, they, and this video solves it, they're going to share it out with their audience. And guess what? That gets more eyes on you, on you. That gets more eyes on you. So you have to really be able to create engaging and interactive videos. And the more that you do that, the more people are going to really 
want to watch your video. So if you're kind of understanding that concept, just give me some likes and some hearts. I'd definitely love to see that as well. Um, number three, is one video enough? No, one video is not enough. So many people think that, okay, I'm gonna create this video, put it on YouTube, it's gonna rank, and a whole bunch of people are gonna watch it. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of subscribers. Same thing with Facebook. I'm gonna put this video out. So many people are gonna watch this video and they're gonna like my page, they're gonna comment on this video, they're gonna love the content that I give. But if they only do one video and that's it, you have to be consistent with your videos. Find a schedule that works best for you. I know with me and my YouTube videos, I normally upload a YouTube video every week, once a week. And I stick with that on a consistent schedule. I know I have to put a video out for my audience on YouTube every single week. Okay, so multiple videos equals brand awareness. The more videos that you do, the more people are going to be aware of the videos that or the video topics that you are creating and what it is that your niche is all about. All right. So I want to make sure that you understand that. Um, it gives your audience multiple opportunities to find out how you can help them. I almost tripped over my words. <laughs> so you want to give your audience different ways to figure out, okay, who is this person? Why are they doing the video? Why should I be watching this person online? Your videos have to create that, okay? They have to create that. So number four, um, thank you, Wilbur, for sharing this video out. I appreciate you today. Uh, number four, what videos should you create? What video should you create? Well, there are two types of videos that you should be creating when it comes to your business. The first one is a leadership video. This is where you're sharing your information and your knowledge with your audience, okay? This is, you're showing your expertise in the world, okay? This could be with uh, teaching videos uh, and interviews, teaching videos and interviews. I haven't done an interview yet, but I know that that is one of the most powerful ways that you can make a video. The second is a testimonial video. So you want to create a testimonial video for somebody, or you want somebody to create a testimonial video for you, right? And them having the experience that they've had with you, they're going to create a testimonial video to share with everybody how much they have learned from you. And I uh, just had somebody create a testimonial video for me uh, with my coaching program. So Chris Ford, if you are watching this video, I definitely appreciate you creating a video for me. Um, it should be on my website soon. <laughs> it should be on my website soon. So Two types of videos, leadership videos and a testimonial video are the two types of videos that you should be creating for your business. Number five, and this is my favorite one, number five, can video increase my sales? Yes, it can. Yes, it can. So here's the thing with videos. You can create a video today as long as it's still relevant. Well, honestly, videos are still relevant. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you create a video and I like to say post it on YouTube instead of Facebook because Facebook has such a uh, short attention span. A lot of people, they'll see your video and they'll just keep scrolling. But with YouTube, they're able to find it because YouTube is a search engine, just like Google. So YouTube is a social media platform and a search engine mixed together. So you want to put your video on YouTube to where people are able to find your video. So you create this video today and probably about mm, two years later, that video is still there, still generating views, still generating comments. A lot of people are, you know, interested in this video, it doesn't matter how old it is. And you can offer something for them to buy. And guess what? You can still make a sale off that video that you created two years ago. That's why I love video. I honestly created a video created a video um, and I had posted it yesterday. It was how to do Instagram stories and filters. And I created that video eight months ago. And guess what? I am still getting views on that video today. I'm still getting leads generated on that video today because I had posted an Instagram training to go along with that video. So I want to let you know, you can still create the leads. You can still make money from your videos, even if you don't uh, have a video out you need to put it out and then watch and see what happens in the next few days few months whatever as long as you keep it up and really use search engine optimization you will definitely see some sales so yes videos do increase your sales you have to do them okay 
you have to. This is going to create your, uh, it's going to increase your visibility. All right. I love videos. So, um, also give you some other stats when it comes to making videos as well. I'm trying to put my house shoe back on y'all. <laughs> um, videos decrease the time that it takes for a viewer to make a purchasing decision by 70%. So once a person sees a video, they're like, man, okay, this video actually makes me want to buy the product. Instead of them having to sit there and read everything, they can watch a video, it makes it faster, and they're like, yeah, okay, I'll go ahead and purchase it. Okay, so it does make a, um, a purchasing decision. And um, it helps them, I also have another stat for y'all, hold on. And people are more likely to purchase a product after seeing a video, which is always great, which is always great. Hey, Mark, how are you? Great evening. Great evening to you. So number six, number six, are videos expensive? No, <laughs> no. You see this here? This here is how I create my videos, except for today I got my camera on my computer. But this is how I create my videos. Wherever, whatever type of phone you have, it could be Android, it could be an iPhone, whatever. You have the ability to create videos in an instant. You do not have to go out and buy a whole bunch of products or, um, you know, buy lighting, you know, all, all this other extra stuff that most people tell you that you have to buy before you create your vid first video. No, no. So, so wrong. I created my first video um, on my webcam. But I did start using my phone because I felt that the quality is better. Okay, the quality is always going to be better on your telephone. Okay, on your telephone. So videos help generate sales for your business long after the, long after you have created the videos. I said so. Videos aren't expensive. I don't want you to think, oh my gosh, I got to go get a DSLR camera. I got to go get some lighting. I go get this little microphone to put right here. I got to go get um you know, some, some other expensive microphone. You don't have to have all of that. All you need to bring is your personality, your smile, and your telephone. That is it. That is it. So videos are not expensive. Number seven, and before I go into these last two points, just let me, let me see you give me some hearts and some likes just to make sure that you're understanding the concept of this video because I want you all to know video is not difficult. And it may be easy for me to say that because I'm doing this video for you all, but I just want you all to know video is not difficult. So if you're understanding, give me, give me some likes, give me some hearts, some comments, something. So just to make sure that I know that you are understanding what I am saying in this video. Okay. So I'll be waiting on those. <laughs> I'll be waiting on those. Thank you so much. You all I just want to make sure you all are understanding this. So number seven, where do I put my videos? Now, here's the fun thing. On YouTube, or they put them on Facebook. And that's it. Most people create videos and just put them on Facebook only. But you're missing out on half of your audience. Most of my likes and comments and subscribes and everything come from YouTube because I put my videos on YouTube and on Facebook as well. I don't leave an audience out. I also upload my videos to Twitter from YouTube. Okay, and I also upload, upload them to Google Plus as well. There are other ways you can share your video out besides just posting it on YouTube and just, just leaving it. Okay, so you can also use your website, your blog. Uh, let me see what else did I put down. Um, there are other two other sites, two other video marketing sites that you can put your video on. It's called Daily Motion, and the second one is called Vimeo. Just don't upload any type of network marketing um, videos because they'll they'll shut you down for real. But you, you can put your videos elsewhere. All right, you can put your videos elsewhere. I want y'all to know that. Don't just stick primarily with YouTube or Facebook or wherever, Instagram, wherever. You have to upload your videos to every single platform that you can. All right. So number eight, how do I drive traffic to my videos? Okay, good question. How do I drive traffic to my videos? Well, what I do, okay, is that I, I have an email autoresponder. Most people think that video marketing is just 
creating a video, putting it on Facebook, putting it on YouTube, and that's it. No, you need to have a way to let people who are on your autoresponder know, hey, I created a video for you all today. Okay. So go ahead and check it out. Um, if you're posting it, you know, on your fan page, you know, get traffic from that way. You can create your video as a Facebook video ad. Get, get traffic to it, right? You want to make sure that you are everywhere, posting your stuff out everywhere. That's what you have to do. Okay, that is what you have to do. Um, so you want to make effective headlines as well. Your videos headlines have to be catchy. Very, very catchy, especially on YouTube. The more catchy it is, the more people are likely to click on it and watch. Um, really utilize search engine optimization. Okay, really use that. That's going to help you out. And I'm going to be creating a webinar about search engine optimization very soon. All right, you'll see that in just a moment. Um, you want to make your videos personal because it's a allows people to connect more with you on a personal level. They feel like they know you. Um, you want to create great thumbnails, number four, and create quality videos. Quality videos are what? Teaching videos and, knowledge and leadership videos, okay? That's what you have to do. My two, <laughs> my number two. So I want you all to understand that there are questions, you know, people have about video marketing, and I wanted to Go ahead and create this video for you all to let you all know. So I have, like I said the other day, you got to have a call to action. I have three call to actions for you all today. Okay, three. I don't normally have that many in a video, but I have three call to actions for you. Number one is that if you would like to see that webinar on the search engine optimization and some other free webinars that I'm going to be starting to create this month, we're in the middle of this month, I want you to go ahead and join my Video Marketing Mastermind Facebook group. Okay, I'll leave that link in the comments below. I'm kind of afraid to put links on the top of my video now since Facebook shut me down yesterday. Um, but I'll leave it in the comments below of this video. You can join my Facebook video marketing group and you'll have access to the free webinars that I'm going to be doing for you all in a couple of weeks. Okay, two weeks, two weeks. Um, the second thing that I have for you all is I have an ebook for you all to download. It's titled How to Grow. How to Get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube. Um, I give you about 23 ways that you can grow your audience on YouTube to get over 100 subscribers, right? So I'll leave that in the comments below as well. And if you would like to follow me on YouTube, you can uh, get that link. I'll put that down at the, below. If you have the direct link to my channel, go ahead and subscribe because you'll see all the videos that I have created over the past two and a half years. All right, two and a half years. My goodness, that's a long time. Well, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and um, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have a good night.